So now that we have successfully gotten our access token and we were able to get some campaign data for one of our ad accounts, let's actually move through the other steps a little bit more quickly. And if we look over here at my uh, blog article, what we can see is that the next step in our list is to get all ad groups belonging to a TikTok campaign. And what we want to do after is once we have uh, the ad group, we want to get the ad or get ad level data uh, for this particular uh, ad set or number of ads. And we just want to take a look at what does the data look like? Uh, what does the reporting data look like? Can we uh, spot some similarities to something like Facebook, for example? So I'm just going to uh, start over here. So as before, let's revisit what we did uh, in our other uh, in our previous video. So we were pulling data from the uh, campaign uh, from our ad account on campaign level. So the structure that we used here was this business API dot We have version 1.2 and then we have campaign get and then we use this advertiser ID over here and we have a page size as well. And let's uh, duplicate this request over here. and do this call. So let's just try this. I think it's called add group. So I'm just gonna try that same structure. It was called a uh, campaign before. Let's just see if that works. Looks like it does. Um, so that's great. Um, let's see if we can figure out how we can get data um, just belonging to our, uh, just, just add groups belonging to our particular campaign that we set up. So let's go over here. I'm going to go over to the official documentation. Um, I can see there is some campaign IDs filter that we can apply. And let's take a look at the official documentation. So we're here at the get ad groups part. Um, so if you need a refresher, we were in the API reference, ad groups, get ad groups before we looked at the campaigns. And let's take a look at what of the what are the fields that are available. So we can see that we have the advertiser ID. This one we already um, supplied and then we can define what fields we want to get by default all fields are returned that's good for us and then we can use filtering so uh, and filtering is an object um, so we need to supply an object and then we need to supply campaign IDs as a list of as a list of, of uh, numbers so let's see if we can uh, do that over here I'm going to add the filtering parameter and then we need an object and this object should use campaign IDs. And then now this is always the tricky part. Uh, do we now need just a list? Um, do we just need a list of IDs or uh, is it comma, comma separated values? So let's try out a few things. I'm just going to take this campaign ID over here from our other request and send that through. And now it says not a valid list, which is fair. So I'm going to try just a list of integers. Okay, so that's work. That, uh, that, that worked. So what we can see is that we supplied this uh, campaign ID, not in quotation marks, but just as is. Let's see if we could have supplied quotation marks. That also works. Let's see, what is the difference here? I think there's no difference, but maybe we get these in a diff slightly different order. Very unsure about it. Um, so yeah, but that works. Um, I'm gonna use the quotation marks because I think it's a terrible idea to have IDs um, formed as integers. So I want to keep these as strings. So this works fine. Uh, looks like this is how we can get uh, some ad groups. So let's try um, the same. I'm going to duplicate this one and say, get all ads belonging to an ad group. And this really is also doing that. So I'm just going to rename this belonging to a campaign. Okay. 
Cool. So now this should be pretty straightforward now. So we should just pick an ad group that we uh, got over here. So I'm just going to choose one. So this is the idea we'll copy over. Let's try that. So we should just change the structure here. So now we want to get ad level data. So we want to get the ad. And instead of a campaign ID filter, I want to supply an ad group IDs filter. And the ad group ID I'm supplying is this one. And it looks like that worked because we only got back one uh, ad. So that looks good. Cool. Um, so we have now successfully been able to get uh, campaigns, ad groups, ads uh, belonging to different uh, different objects. And if I wanted to, you know, add a different filter here, of course I could. Uh, I choose not to. And let's look over the last step that we want to do. So we got ad groups belonging to a TikTok campaign, and we got all ads belonging to a TikTok ad group. So now let's take a look at the reporting part. So um, let's say we, and in this case, we're now saying let's create a report that gets ad level data. But we just saw actually that this particular uh, ad group just has one ad. So I don't really need to get the reporting uh, broken down by ad if there's just one there. So maybe we can actually get ad level data um, or ad set level data entire across the uh, entire campaign uh, because it looked like there were a few more that we could choose from. Um, so what we need is something called a basic report. And I'm not going to go through our own blog article, but I'm just going to go through the the, straight, uh, the source of the documentation. So um, this is uh, done here under reporting and then basic report. Uh, reporting, report types, basic report. I would say 99% of cases, you will only need the basic report because that's really what we care about as marketers. Um, but uh, there is even a three minute video here uh, teaching you how to do some of these things as well. So uh, feel free to give that a look um, if this uh, YouTube tutorial is not uh, going into all details. Um, so what we can see here is that we have something called dimensions. And there are different dimensions um, that are supported. So we can group data uh, by these different dimensions. Uh, if you've ever used something like Google Analytics, you should be very familiar with dimensions and metrics. Um, and in our case, well, we want to get the data uh, broken down by ad. Uh, and um, I guess not really by day. I don't think really, I don't really care about that. So I think I'm just going to get the data um, over some time frame broken down by ad for a particular campaign. And it looks like um, there is a limitation here. So we can only pass in one ID dim dimension and one time dimension. So I can't supply day and hour, uh, or I can't supply ad ID and ad group ID. Of course, if we're breaking down by ad ID, we're automatically breaking down by ad group ID, because as we saw in the previous video, an ad belongs to an ad group. So there is a hierarchy in here that works in our favor. And then we have metrics. And it looks like we have yeah, some fields, I guess, that in a different world we might call dimension, but I can see why this is called metrics. Um, so we can see that there is something called uh, campaign name here, campaign ID, ad group ID, ID etc. And this may look a little bit confusing to you. Uh, so let me clarify this. If we are specifying ad ID as the dimension, we don't automatically also return the ad group ID in the request. So what we need to do is we need to supply ad group uh, ID as a metric, even though that sounds a bit funny. Uh, we need to uh, we need to add these as additional attributes. And what you can see is that there are a bunch of different attribute metrics that we can add here, uh, things like the app name, uh, promotion type, etc. And then we have the um, actual data metrics that you know then. Uh, is maybe what we expected to find here. So we can see uh, there's spend here. Um, and then you can see on the right hand side, we have uh, SK ad network metrics as well. If you're working with iOS, uh, iOS 14.5, uh, we have video play metrics that you can take a look at. Um, yeah, and on site event metrics. So this would be relevant too. So for all of those e commerce stores, etc. 
Um, so overall, you can kind of go through this. As you can see on the right hand side, we can also use a filter. So uh, it looks like as before, we can supply a campaign filter, which is what I said we want to do. And yeah, this is what I was talking about before. So in this case, it looks like we need to not supply a real string, sorry, not a real array, but instead kind of like a fake array wrapped around in quotation marks. So I don't know why this is how, uh, how TikTok expects us to do filtering, especially because it differs here versus what we saw before, but we're just gonna go with a flow and do as they say. Um, so let's uh, first create a new re uh, request. So I'm just gonna create this, get at level reporting for campaign. So uh, let's take a look at this uh, data and let's copy our endpoint from our tutorial. So the endpoint is called forward slash reports integrated and get. And what we'll see is that we can pass in the advertiser ID. We'll pass in a report type, basic. Uh, we have lifetime, uh, which makes sure we're getting lifetime data back. Then we have the data level, uh, which is something that we need to supply. Uh, and then we have dimensions as we saw before, and then we have filters over here as well. So this is what I'm going to copy. I'm just gonna copy the entire URL and you can do the same. Uh, just gonna swap this out. Wonderful. So we have our entire report here. We have lifetime equal to true. So all we need to make uh, sure is now that we'll get the right campaign ID. So I'm just gonna pick one over here, campaign ID. And then we need to use the correct um, account ID as well. All right, let's try it out. So uh, there we have it. We now have add level data here. Um, let's actually add this, uh, add, add a few more fields here just so we can get some more data. So we have fields called, I guess I didn't supply any fields. Oh, they're, they're called metrics, not fields. I didn't supply any metrics, did I? I did not. Let's do that metrics. And maybe we can add things like add group ID as well and campaign ID. All right, so now we have a bit more data. Let's see what else we can get. Basic data metrics. Maybe let's use CPM, CPC, things like that. Just gonna copy this. Okay, you get the idea. So if we scroll down, we can see we got really, really cheap CPMs and really cheap CPCs. Uh, this account has not been running for some time, so this may not be representative of what you see in your account. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So we now saw in this video how we can take a campaign, uh, one that we had selected in the previous video, and how we can get ad group data for it, uh, ad, uh, ad data for it, so the metadata, the settings, uh, and then we can also um, get some reporting data. And uh, I think that's super cool. Um, on ad level now, we can also see, let me move this over here a little bit. On the ad level, we can see all of the creative information. So we can see the call to action. We can see something called a profile image. Uh, we have the landing page URL in here. Uh, we have an ad text in here. Um, and we have linked um, maybe even some video ID or something like that. I guess an image ID, a video ID. Uh, so in the next video, what we'll do is we'll look at how we can create an ad and what we need to do to, uh, to do that. If you don't have an ad account, what you can also do is watch the video on how to create a sandbox account, which allows you to create a fake account where you can do whatever you like and it will never cost you any real money. Uh, so if you 
didn't have an account before or want to try something out in a safe environment, then I recommend creating a sandbox account. And no matter whether you use a real one or a sandbox account, you can then follow the video on how to create an ad. And uh, what you'll see is that in order to create an ad, we have to do quite a few things like creating a campaign, creating an ad group uh, and uploading a video and even an image. Um, but we'll get to that in the next video.